This is code.org. I'm working on CS principles. Unit 5, building apps. Lesson 10, building an app color sleuth. Puzzle 15. Let's see here. Step 4, add an if statement in check correct. Okay. Add a simple if else statement inside the function check correct that compares button ID and random button and displays, ooh, lots of it, displays a message to the council that they got the right answer. Okay, insert something like this between your existing council statement and call to set forward. All right, compares, add an if else statement. Oh, and this is what they're showing us. All right, so let's go down to check correct. Check correct. And we need an if else statement. So, but uh And we want to compare two things, and so we want to look get the equality operator, right? Because one equal sign reassigns a variable. Two is how you say, hey, are these two, well, two variables or things equal? And we're going to do button ID and ran button ID, okay, console log. One here we need. They would also like one here. You got it right. Woo! Oh, wrong. <laughs> so, and this would make sense, okay? If the button ID is equal to the random button, right? Then the user must have gotten it right. And then we're going to reset the board. Yep, is working. Be sure to click on all the buttons. Let's double check how this works. All right. So check correct function. Where is that called? Hmm. It's called when we actually are clicking on a button. So if I were to click on button one, if I were to cl click on button one, we know button three is the correct one. So fine, let's start there. You got it right. And how it knows is when I clicked on button three, the event was triggered, right? Button three, click, detected. It ran the function check correct. And it passed button three into the parameter spot, passed it as an argument. So check correct, then button ID. Oh, what's button ID? It's going to be button three. Okay. And so we know checking button three, which is what this says, then if button ID is equal to random button ID, you got it right. Well, what's the random button ID? We declared it out here. So even though we set random button ID in here, right here in the set board function, right? We set it in here. We still have access we still have access to know what it is in this function because it's a global variable. And so we check if whatever I just clicked on is equal to the random button ID that we reassigned in here. If it is, we let them know, well, we let the council know that you got it right. Or if it isn't, you get it wrong. So right now the correct one is one. Let's test all the correct first. Correct one is two. You got it right. Correct one is one, two, four. All right, now we've tried all correct. So let's get it wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Awesome. I've never been so happy to be wrong. And I think, yep, awesome. So mainly what we needed to add was this if statement. This is cool. Let's uh, keep going. 